Monday, happy new week. It is the 5th of December, 2016, and this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. I'm Pat Garner. Pat, we're here at the... Art Market. The Art Market at the Wayne County Arts Council's, Arts Council of Wayne County's Art Market on the corner of Walnut and John Street, downtown Goldsboro. In fact, the address is 102 North John. Now, what a great place. They, they have added, they have so much stuff in here, and the, the, this art market is indeed what it sounds like. It is, mark, it is art that you can purchase, and uh, you can spend as much as you want to spend. Some of these items uh, go up into the hundreds of dollars, and some of them are as little as $2 for unique pieces of art that's made by folks right here in Wayne County. Right? right. And uh, the art market is right here inside the Arts Council of Wayne County's uh, place of business on North John Street in downtown Goldsboro, and you're invited to come by. In fact, we were standing in front of this tree here, and you commented to me about even these ornaments are for sale. These ornaments, are. made, handmade, many of them, these are beautiful. Uh, absolutely beautiful, one of a kind ornaments. $3. Three, three dollars. Here's one for 12. That's beautiful. That's $12. Look at that star. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Uh, very nice. And of course, the paintings on the wall, these are, uh, these are one of a kind paintings. And uh, just everything in here is for sale. If you're looking for that special gift for Christmas, this would be the place you would find it. That's right. What's going on this morning at 8 o'clock? This morning, the Board of Commissioners will be meeting. Uh huh. They will not meet on Tuesday. It is today, starting at 8 with their agenda, and 9, the regular meeting. 8 o'clock, the briefing, the agenda yes. briefing, and then 9 o'clock, the regular meeting. Now, that this is, is correct. This is the only time during the year that, uh, well, I don't know if it's the only time during the year, but this is a special day uh, for the regular meeting. Normally, it's on Tuesday. Today, it's Monday. They're going to have the meeting this morning, and if public's invited to attend, all of the Wayne County Commissioner's meetings. So uh, we're on the fourth floor of the Wayne County Courthouse. Hope you're able to attend. If for some reason you cannot attend, you can watch on, our, on the internet, uh, on the inter on an internet stream. And we actually stream the meetings as it happens live on the internet. You can go to our webpage, waynegov.com, and look under Board of Commissioners under Government, Board of Commissioners, and there's a link in the menu on the left that will take you right to live coverage of the Wayne County Board of Commissioners meeting, right? Let's make it simple. Make it simple. Go to wangov.com. Wangov.com. Just scroll down just a few spots. Oh, it's on the main page. And it's on the main page. On the it main says page. commissioners meeting live broadcast. Okay. That's simple. That is simple. That's simple. Okay. Purses, kerchiefs, glassware, pottery, paintings, everything you can imagine in here. It is. And in the next room, set up on display, are the gingerbread houses. That's correct. Oh, wow. They are beautiful, the gingerbread houses. This was a, this was a competition. Uh, in fact, it involved children and youth, and youth, <laughs> children, and adults. And we're going to look at those here in just a few minutes, okay? Okay. All right, let's look at some things going on around the community, around the area. What's going on? Well, I, okay, all right, that's good right there. January 5th, a month from today, and that's a Thursday, the uh, Dancing Stars of Wayne County will be asking for your vote as, they, as the show gets underway at the Paramount Theater. The program begins at the Paramount at 6.30 on January 5th. In the meantime, you're asked to go online and vote. Uh, WayneEducationNetwork.org, WayneEducationNetwork.org, each vote is $10. And then when you attend the event at the Paramount, it's $75 per person. And that $75 actually includes five votes. All right, and there's a whole long list of local, local dancing stars of Wayne County uh, from which you would vote. And take your pick and vote. All right. Coming up this week, this Thursday, December 8th, at 5.30, the Wayne County Chamber of Commerce having their annual holiday mixer that begins at 5.30, and that's at 308 North William Street in Goldsboro, and that's where the Chamber office is located, and that's always a lot of fun as well, always a lot of fun. Uh, this Wednesday, the Education Hot Topic taking place at Lane Tree. We've talked a lot about that. You're invited to attend. If you're a Chamber member, it's $20. If you're a non-member, it's $30. RSVP Linda M. 
at waynecountychamber.com. Starts at noon. It's going to be a great event. Hope you're able to attend. Right? That's right. All right. What, what, what else do we have here? Um, don't forget to be on the lookout for Jolly McJingle. Yes. He is running around downtown. Yes. He is located in the businesses inside. He will never be outside. You have to go to downtown Goldsboro, social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And Snapchat. And Snapchat. Find the clues to find out where Jolly Majingle will be. And once you find Jolly Majingle, you will take a selfie with an Elfie. Aha, uh -huh. take a selfie. And he's in a different business every day. That's correct. In a different business every day. You take your selfie with the Elfie and then you post it to that social media page. That's right. All right. And it's downtown Goldsboro is the page. Uh, Facebook, downtown Goldsboro, Twitter, downtown Goldsboro, et cetera. That's right. And then you have an opportunity to win. Each day you have a chance to win downtown dollars. And one per day, is that right? One per day. One per day is all you can do. So look for the clues on social media, downtown Goldsboro, right? That's right. All right. No telling where he might be hanging That's at. That's right. Jolly McNichol is hanging out somewhere. Jingles. Jolly Jingles is hanging out somewhere every day. Different every day. Okay, that's good. Now let's let's do this. Let's go a, a, to our interview. Okay. And when we come back, we'll have more stuff on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Today we're at the Cooperative Extension Office here in Goldsboro talking with Jessica Strickland, mm -hmm. who's back with us again. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. How are you doing? Doing good. Horticulture yes. agent for mm -hmm. the County of Wayne. And mm -hmm. now you're back with us, back in yep. full swing. I am. All right. Yes. It's that time of year. It is. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Yep. That's mm -hmm. right. And of course, one of the loveliest things as far mm -hmm. as plants and animals uh -huh. go is animals, is plants, yep. is, <laughs> is, is poinsettia uh -huh. plants. Yes. Mm -hmm. One of the most beautiful plants and these mm -hmm. originally started uh, were from mexico right they are uh they're native to mexico and central america uh they actually grow in the tropics as a small tree mm. uh, so they'd be uh, much larger and so forth but we use them of course because of the color that comes up comes out during christmas right. um, the color pops out because of the our shorter days so whenever we have shorter days longer nights mm -hmm. uh, that difference in light and dark time during the day causes it to turn red now where is the flower <laughs> here itself is the red leaf the flower the red leaf is actually a modified leaf or what we would call a brack mm. and then those small little clusters of yellow that you see in the middle that's the act true flowers you mean the yellow mm -hmm. okay. yes Yep. And, uh, but this is what we're after with the color. This is right. what shows up whenever we start getting those shorter days. So this is the flower. Mm -hmm. So what, what does the flower do besides just being a flower? Uh, well, that's going to be some of the pollen and such. So use uh, for pollinating or uh, yeah, yeah. for there's a lot of programs. Uh, I know like with NC State University and such where they breed poinsettias to come up with new ones. So that's why you see the pinks and whites and the marble color and variegated. Uh, They're always coming up with something new and a little different. Now, how do they do that? That's not a natural <laughs> thing with poinsettias, is it? No, it's probably probably a lot of tedious work to see yeah. uh, when they catch uh, one that has a characteristic that's of interest, then they breed that and see if they can keep that characteristic okay. in it. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So uh, how difficult is it? Mm -hmm. This is an annual. Yeah, for us so it's an annual. So mm -hmm. for us it's an annual. Yes. In Mexico mm -hmm. it's a perennial. That's right. Mm -hmm. But how difficult is it for for us to reproduce these? Mm -hmm. Um, well, usually reproducing, I don't know if you could, um, most people just simply buy them and then they, um, toss, toss them, them yeah. after, uh, they start looking bad and so forth, but you can keep this and let it grow and it'll get larger and you can keep them year to year if you want but to. But now mm -hmm. there's some work involved with that. There is. That's there is some, easy, easy no, task. it does take some work to keep them year round, but I know people that keep them and, uh, let them grow. Some of the leaves drop. They don't look the greatest for a little while and then they, uh, it'll get some more leaves and, they keep them yeah. year round. So. Yeah, but uh, my luck has always been that you, you 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 get them and you let them grow, and then they get leggy and things right. start dropping off. Yeah, that's and, that's know, right. <laughs> they end yeah. up pretty ugly. Uh -huh. Sorry. Yeah. But now, what? Give me an idea. Now, these are so popular, and mm -hmm. people love them, and they are beautiful. So, yes. mm -hmm. what do you look for when you're mm -hmm. buying a poinsettia? Uh, what you look for is, uh, as far as strong. First thing I look at is some strong stems, so that way uh, it's supporting itself. Uh, if the mm -hmm. stems are pretty weak, it's leaning okay. over. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. And so forth. 
um, you know, that it looks in good shape. Probably look that you got some of the color, but as these little flowers open up, once they start opening, the plant's going to slow down and start declining some. So these little flowers, you uh -huh. want them closed that they haven't opened up so or you just want started these closed. to open. Yeah, and you, a lot of these um, are closed. They haven't hardly mm -hmm. opened up. So this plant's still going to you mm -hmm. know, do pretty well for a while. Once the flower opens, mm -hmm. these little buds here, once they open... Then you start losing some of your leaves and things declining. like that. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. so once you get them home, should you repot it immediately? Most people don't because no. most people are using it for decoration. If you're wanting to keep it long-term... Mm -hmm. You know, you might want to repot it uh, not long after Christmas or mm -hmm. so forth. Uh, if you're just keeping it just for the holidays, then it really doesn't matter doesn't too matter, much. Just take it and get, and get That's rid right. Of it. So uh, when you do repot it, do you expect it to, to go ahead and, and flourish after that? It probably will. It probably, uh, a lot of times points said is the leaves drop very easily when there's mm -hmm. any changes. Yeah. So you'll probably get some leaf drop and then it'll start to grow and they bounce do, back a little. They through. go through a lot of stress. They do. Yeah, they're a little penny, uh, picky or finicky. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. picky and finicky. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, <laughs> as far as watering and light and temperature, uh, temperature's a big one. Yeah. That if you left it sitting in the car overnight and forgot about about it leaves are probably gonna start dropping they will so very quickly when they get too dry when they're over watered then the leaves start to drop also so they're you got to have in between you can't have too hot too cold mm. or too much light or too little light mm -hmm. you have to have something in the middle for it okay too hot not too hot not too cold mm -hmm. just kind of a goldilocks thing that, that is it's okay. kind of like a goldilocks thing yeah mm -hmm. i read hey look i read my books <laughs> yes uh okay now what about where in the house or mm -hmm. where in the home when you buy and bring this home you spent your good money uh -huh. for this you yep. want it to last as long as you can that's right so where do you put it? Uh, you don't want to put it in direct sunlight. So no if you've got a sunlight. window of direct sunlight, you want to avoid that because it uh, tends to fade the color a little quicker mm -hmm. and dries it out a little faster. Uh, other things to avoid is vents, um, where heat's coming out of stoves, mm -hmm. fireplaces, and even like windows or something that has a cold draft, like where a door's open and there's a cold draft coming in, that can cause the leaves to drop too quickly if it's too cold or too hot. A, a quick or abrupt change in temperature. That's right, yeah. Do it. You don't mm -hmm. want it too cold or too hot. Yes. Well, I remember in the day when you were always advised, you mm -hmm. never put it on top of a TV. Yeah, because you get a little bit of heat from some of those appliances and exactly. yeah, mm -hmm, that's The problem correct. with that now is you can't put them on TV yeah, anymore they're... because TV's <laughs> so thin, they fall off. Yeah, so, so don't have to worry about that. that problem. Don't have to worry about that now. <laughs> but don't put them uh, at, at or near uh, heated areas of mm -hmm. fireplace or a yes. space heat or anything like that. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So once you get past the holidays, mm -hmm. you just want to take a chance. Well, maybe I'll try it and just yeah. see what happens. Mm -hmm. You take it and you bury it in the, in the soil outside. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, well, if you took it outside, it probably wouldn't make it. It's if it's still it. wintertime, mm -hmm. uh, still have cold temperatures. They're not, they don't handle cold temperatures well, well, because remember, it's a tropical plant. That's, That's right. really. And uh, so you want to keep it inside. You probably want to go ahead and repot it if it's a small container, kind of like this one's. This one's a pretty small one where, yeah. you know, it could probably be repotted later on um, within a couple months or so. And uh, you can repot it. And then, again, the same thing. You don't want it to be too hot, too cold. You know, find a place that's kind of in between with sunlight and temperature in the house. Okay. So repot it. But mm -hmm. you don't want to put it outside right away. Not until no, if you, later in the yeah, much if you, later. You want to make sure the chance of frost is passed and so forth before you would set it outside. Which on average would be the middle of April. Yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, when you, if you do want to try and keep it, mm -hmm. you put it in a larger pot after the holidays. Uh -huh. What do you do with it then? Because mm -hmm. I have heard suggestions you take it and put it in a closet somewhere. Yeah, you do hear that. Uh, what that does uh, goes back to where at the beginning we talked about that the color comes from when you have shorter days. Mm -hmm. And those shorter days is what triggers uh, the hormones in the plant to right. produce the color. And so getting close to fall and so forth, when our days start to get shorter, you want to mimic that in your house. So we keep our lights on late at night or early in the morning. So that throws that amount of light off on it where it won't produce color on the leaves mm -hmm. so instead you put it in a closet and mimic what's going on outside as far as your uh, hours of daylight and uh, night time and that can trigger it then to start but you got to do it every day okay what about watering mm -hmm. now when you do have it during the christmas mm -hmm. holidays and maybe yeah. even beyond that right mm -hmm. what do you how, how much water does it uh take? you want to water the easiest way is simply just to fill the soil if it feels like it's damp it's got enough water you don't want to overwater it where it's really wet 
Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll show an example here in a minute of where we've got one that's too wet mm -hmm. and uh, didn't make it because the leaves and so forth started falling. Look yep. what we have yep. here. So this is what you do not do. Here's one. There's a couple of things. It tends to happen a lot. Point said is the water's down Ooh, in the full. Wa water's right here. Yeah, where you can even feel the pot floating a little bit. Yeah, it is floating. And uh, a couple of things, that uh, decorative full, if you're going to water it, what happens is it catches all the water and mm -hmm. it doesn't drain out. So that water's going to pull back up into the soil mm -hmm. and keep the roots to it. So mm -hmm. keeping the soil on something like this is not a good idea if you're yeah. going to water it. You need yeah, to, you either need to you want to take take this off so it can drain or punch some holes in the bottom of it so, so it the drain. water can drain out because that water will be soaked back up and then you can touch the soil here and it's really it's wet. very wet. You can see it. And yeah. in fact, mm -hmm. so this is just like just like a human being sitting in water yeah. all the time. <laughs> yeah. You're going you're gonna to choke on the water. Yeah, the roots right? still need oxygen. So uh, with all that water, there's not enough oxygen not enough air oxygen. getting to the roots. So if you, well, now there's a positive here. If you mm -hmm. enjoy growing sticks, <laughs> then there you go. <laughs> here's how you do it. <laughs> I know, in fact, I, there was a time I had a whole farm full of sticks in my house. I did. Yeah. It was sticks everywhere. <laughs> so there you go. So that's lovely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, that was magic. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. We took that stick and changed it into a whatever this is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Points, is it poinsettia or poinsettia? I guess whichever one you prefer. Well, you hear, okay. you hear both. <laughs> uh, you do hear both. I prefer poinsettia uh -huh. myself yeah. because I'm like that. Mm -hmm. But poinsettia is also correct. That's true, yeah. Okay, but it has nothing to do with the quality of the plant or how it grows. No, no, no. not at all. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was, uh, in fact, it was named for the fellow that found it down in Mexico, um, Dr. Mm -hmm. Poinsett. Yeah, and he, I believe, if I remember right, it was, he was first U.S. ambassador for Mexico. Exactly. So, uh, last name Poinsett, that's where the name Poinsett comes Excellent. from. Excellent. All right. Yeah. Now, uh, and you find these everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. And again, so look for the, the bracts that are closed, little buds that are mm -hmm. tightly uh, closed up there, yeah. and you're going to find yourself a nice sure. plant, right? Uh-huh, yes. Very good. Well, mm -hmm. happy holidays. Yes, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas. Yeah. Thank you. Jessica Strickland is the horticulture agent for the County of Wayne, on Wayne Goldsboro Television. This is Wayne Goldsboro Television. We're back on this Monday morning. It is December 5th, 2016. Hope you're doing well today. What's going on at the Senior Center? At the Senior Center today and tomorrow, they will have the ship counselors available for anyone that needs to um, redo their Medicare Part D enrollment. Mm -hmm. um, they are there from 9 a.m. to 12 noon at the Peggy M. Seeger Senior Center. And this is free of charge. They advise you as to what options you have to improve your Part D of Medicare. Uh, you, things change over time, and you may want to change. You may like your plan. If you do, you can keep it. If you don't like your plan, you have a chance to change it. And you can do that at the Peggy M. Seeger Senior Center today and tomorrow, the last days. If you don't do it now, you have to wait until October of next year. All right. Let's see what else we have here. A couple of things for you. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, there's a consumer alert from the Federal Communications Commission about scammers, and they're out there, especially this time of year. If a scammer, if you get a phone call from what appears to be or what sounds like a utility company, a gas company, a phone company, a power company, or somebody, and they say, look, uh, you're, you're behind on this payment, you're behind, you only owe this much money, and we're, I'm calling to collect it right now. You're going to have to give me a credit card number or a debit card number or something like that. Don't do it. Just hang up on them. Hang up on them. Because the utility companies do not call people. These are scammers. They're, all they're trying to do is get your money. And it's illegal. And they can't do it legally. Uh, they might do it, but they can't do it legally. So uh, don't, don't give anybody your credit card number over the telephone. Hang up on them. That is so important. Uh, arts patrons are asked uh, to, uh, to uh, fill out a survey. You can go online at par goesworeparamount.com. There is a place that you can fill out or answer a survey. It's all about the arts. Uh, the data helps drive home the point that the arts mean business. And local restaurants, shops, and businesses always benefit from uh, when the arts thrive in a community. So they're asking you to go on to goldsboroparamount.com and take the survey. It's a short survey. It doesn't take long to fill out, and they will be a tremendous help to the Goldsboro Paramount and the arts community. Well, the Blue Angel are coming to Wayne County. 
The Blue Angels will be performing at the next Seymour Johnson Air Force Base Community Appreciation Day Air Show. That will be May 20th and 21st at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base. You know, they fly the uh, F-18s, I believe it is. You know, the Navy's Blue Angels at the next Air Force, uh, uh, Seymour Johnson Air Force Base Air Show. The air show is held every two years. The next one is 2017. It's coming up May 20th and 21st. We'll tell you more about that the closer we get to it. We'll have interviews to talk about and all that, right? Yes. Okay, today is the 5th, right? Here it is. Oh, boy. Today is bathtub party day. Woo! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Bathtub party day is today. It also, today is, uh, is uh, International Ninja Day. Hi! Okay. Today is... International Volunteer Day for Economic and Social Development and Long Titles Day. <laughs> it's not what he says. And it's World Soil Day. So get your hands dirty, okay? Does that work? That works. That right. works. All right, thank you very much. Don't forget, Thursday, December the 8th, is Coffee with a Cop at Krispy Kreme from 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. 8.30 to 9.30. 8.30 to 9.30. A.m. All right. Coffee with a cop at Krispy Kreme. All right. Let's go to our next part of the program, our next segment, coming up now on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Today we're at the Wayne County Animal Adoption and Education Center on Clingman Street in Goldsboro. <clears throat> and we're here with Sally Brown. Hey, Sally Brown. Hello. Who's your buddy there? Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum. Sugar Plum is a short-haired kitty cat. Nice coloration there, wouldn't you say? Yes. And how old is Sugar Plum? Do you recall? About, About four months old? Four months. Okay. And, uh, and Sugar Plum is all decorated for the, for the holidays, right? Yes, sir. Very pretty. All right, what about, what about my buddy here? Who is this? Jingles. Jingles. Jingles has just made himself at home here, uh, all dressed up for the holidays and Christmas, <laughs> even looking at that jingle bell going up back there. So, uh, so these, these uh, friends are available for adoption. Is that right? $60. Sixty dollars. Now, does that include the? Does that include the? It includes the rabies shot. And the chip. Yes, sir. It does include include the chip, and it includes the spay and neuter, spay yes. over neuter, right? All right. Now, one of these is a male, and one of these is a female. Yes. And they're ready for adoption. And this one right here is just oh, this one's having a ball, right? This little kitty cat is purring like crazy. Kind of enjoys being loved on, don't you, there, kitty cat? All right, so <clears throat> at the Animal Adoption and Education Center, can you adopt these on Saturdays? Yes, sir. I believe that's from 10 till 2 you can adopt. You can't do anything else here, but you can certainly come and adopt a friend. And what a great Christmas gift this would be. So they have to come in and fill out an application. Is that right? Fill out an application at the Animal Adoption and Education Center. For those who are not familiar with it, that's at 1600 Clayman Street. What are you doing? Clayman Street in Goldsboro, and the number is 919 731 1439. 1439. Well, Kitty Cat decided he wanted to go let somebody else rub his head. How about that? All right? So, so that kid, Kitty Cat was cute, wasn't he? He just ran away. But that's okay. It's a kitten. They're about four months old. Kittens do that. Kittens love to play. Everybody loves a kitty cat. Come here, Rascal. No, that's not Rascal. That's, what's that? What's his Jingles. name? Jingles. Jingles. Come here, Jingles. <clears throat> you know, I, I love old TV, and on TV there used to be a, a show called Wild Bill Hickok, and his partner was named Jingles, and it was a, he was a funny guy. Now, what are you doing to that kitty cat? You stop that. I'll pull your ear off. How's that? Oh, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, 919-731-1439, 731-1439 to find out how to adopt these two lovable little kitty cats. Now, they're not related, are they? 
They're not brother and sister. No, they're okay. just kennel mates. They're kennel mates. They're good friends, and they love to play. Look at them. <laughs> and they're all ready for, for your Christmas holidays. So how about getting a new friend there, a new family member? You could take them home and have a new family member to kind of frolic around the Christmas tree and have fun, right? 919-731-1439. Sally Brown, thank you so much for helping us out. You're welcome. We're back on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Today is Monday. It is the 5th of the month of December. What's going on? The Senior Center has their Christmas open house that will take place December the 7th from 2 o'clock till 5. And that is for seniors uh, who are members of the Senior Center and it's for seniors who are not members of the Senior Center. So if you're 60 years and older and a Wayne County resident, you're certainly invited to attend the open house as long as you're 60 and above and you're a Wayne County resident, open house from what time? Two to five. Two to five this Wednesday at the Senior Center on East Ash Street, 2001 East Ash Street, in fact. Okay? I had to drop my papers because I couldn't hold the microphone and hold that paper too. Coming up. Handling stress. Hand, huh? Handling stress during the holidays. Handling stress during the holidays. The holidays can be a stressful time for many, many people. There are a number of things you can do to cope with stress and keep it from spoiling your holidays and your health. Stress is unhealthy. Jessica Harvey is the young lady who will be there. She is from Well Care Home Health, and she'll be there during the open house this Wednesday to talk about ways to alleviate stress during the holidays. And that is so important this time of year. Now. Now. Now what, Wayne? Now, go ahead. What do we have? I what ask you first. Have? The cookie exchange. The cookie? Cookies? Cookies. Oh boy. Frida Owen is having a cookie exchange. You will bring your favorite store-bought cookie to share an exchange with others at the Senior Center on December the 14th mm -hmm. at 3 p.m. in the Arts and Crafts Room. You need at least 24 cookies. Whoa. Kind of tasty. Yeah. Do you have a favorite cookie? No. I like them all. Right. Sugar cookies if I'd have them. Oh, okay. Yeah, sugar cookies are good. Especially yeah. around Christmas. Well, not everybody loves chocolate chip. Yeah, but that ain't Christmassy. Oh, that's not Christmassy? What's Christmassy? Chocolate Sugar cookies. Oh, okay. That's Christmassy, I guess. Okay. That's good. All right. May I? All right. Sure. Coming up also at the Senior Center, an ugly sweater contest. Come dressed in your ugliest sweater for a chance to win the first annual ugly sweater contest trophy. Uh, what a fun and unique way to bring some Christmas spirit to the Senior Center. The ugly sweater contest will be held Wednesday, December 21st at noon. And this is at the Senior Center at 2001D, 2001 East Ash Street in Goldsboro. And you can call Rob for more information, 919-731-1589. I've already talked to Paula about this, and she says that she's all excited about her ugly sweater. She's going to make it even uglier than it is already. Hmm. Mm. Are you wearing one? Oh, I'm going to be busy that day. Yeah, the 21st, yeah. All right. That's it for today. Is that it? That's it. That's it. We're going to do this again bright and early tomorrow. We'll be in here at 7 o'clock. The show repeats at noon. Then the show re-repeats at 5.30 p.m. Have a great day. Please drive carefully. Always wear your seatbelt. And until tomorrow, this is Wayne saying, no, wait a minute. That's something else. That was another lifetime. Until tomorrow, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Pat Garner. And this is Wayne Goldsboro Television.